we're gonna start with tropical flunk. <laughs> <laughs> tropical plunge. No. <laughs> <laughs> tropical plunge. <laughs> Flavor. Oh. <laughs> Yo, yo, I'm back. <laughs> and welcome back to Waffling. Malfoy, you and you, Luke Martin, oh God. have presents this oh, week. Oh, wait yes. For this. Yes. 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 Right, so I've gone all out. What's all right? out. What's this for? Just, you felt nice. I felt giving. I felt loving. And I really wanted to reward you two for your hard work. Well, I was gonna say, I, I know why you've done it actually. Why? Myself and Luke, our birthdays are in the off season of waffling. Obviously your birthday is within the season of waffling, so I see what you're doing here. You're right. getting ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Wait, don't not. say that, because now yeah, cause now, now us a birthday present. Yeah, now well, obviously you, you guys present. need to get me a, a quality one. Yeah. Obviously. After what happened yeah, at Christmas. Well, uh, I, mine was actually very thoughtful. Maybe. Uh, I, I provide content every week. <sighs> right. Well, Without further ado, everyone, you Waffling Mafia members, please think and say out loud to manifest what you think these presents are going to be. <laughs> right now, say it. You're not doing it. <laughs> Do it. I don't care if you're at a bus stop. Come on. Right. Here we go. Is it going to be as good as my Christmas so. present? <sighs> <laughs> a tea. Right. <laughs> You've been well, so I'm just preparing them. You've been I'm just so preparing them. So excited. What are you doing down there? Right. So, firstly, for Theo, <laughs> we have the Dragon Buxton <laughs> Drinker. <laughs> it's your very own t shirt, Malfoy. From the Lover Robot range. Oh, I hope I don't have a kitty. And it's yours to keep forever and it's ever. One of the, you know what? Ne- this is actually priceless. You can wear it on your wedding day. Oh. No, it actually is priceless. I could this auction is... that off for a lot of money. This no, is... you can still get them. Now, on, be honest, Joe. On Spreadshirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're still for sale. Do you want to get a baguette t shirt as well? Oh, y- your original merch. I could do. When... Well, they're made by the same people. <laughs> When was the last time you sold one of those? Uh, it's got to be a good seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I, know, I don't know. Hang on, you, you build it up. I know it's a cool present and whatnot. I don't be on. You're not about to fucking shit all over the Prezi, are you? You've definitely gone through your attic over Christmas, found them and no. thought, what? Uh, wow. No. Here we go. But did you purchase one? No, because I've actually got cool presents for next week as well. Because <laughs> I, I didn't bring all of them in one go. <laughs> all of them? <laughs> so, more t-shirts. No, basically, right. So you know my mum's doing the deadlifting thing, yeah. right? So I decided to make, basically, she gets called the gen. <laughs> right, so at the gym. They're like, go on the gen. The gen. Her name's Introducing gen. Introducing yeah. the gen. So I went on Spreadshirt, which is a, sh- a place where you can make wear uh, fucking t-shirts. And I made her a gym top that says the gen on. Here's a picky, right? Looks good. That's actually quite cute. Yeah, but... In amongst that, I realised, hang a burr, I used to sell my merchandise on Spreadshirt via it, right? Let me see if it's still active, I don't know. And it was. And there was, I'm basically Lukaku shirts. There was Washer and Mash End shirts. And I bought two, right? I bought two Washer and Mash End shirts. One in like, uh, say that colour that Luke's wearing. But, but in blue, a blue version. So that like baby blue. Oh yeah. And one, like in, like a, yeah, like one in like a pastel red. And I'm going to wear it. Uh, DJing a performance. You're gonna time. look fucking hard. Because I thought it looked quite, it's like retro. It was actually quite like wavy, fruity. <laughs> retro. <colour. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> mate, in it. Well, so, I mean, I thought you so yeah. So this was like one of my first ever merchandises, and I think it's very good. Wait, so that's actually brand new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's new. It is new. I mean, it's, it looks like a piece of shit, but, like, <laughs> but it's brand new. It oh, mate, you gold, know what? This it? is actually a proper good pajama. No, top. what? Yeah, no, it Actually, is. Yeah. Or you can put your girlfriend in it. That's you know, like when, oh, can I borrow one of your tops, That's daddy? And you put her in my fucking top. Would you want no, to th- smash your bird if she was wearing a yeah, legit on. Buxton drink? We'll film it. What? Yeah. Also, no, it's my top now, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's yours. It, I'll just look at it and think, oh, God, legitimate Buxton drinker every single time. There we go. And then thank for you, Luke. Thank you very much, by the way. You're welcome. Thank you. I appreciate He's it. He's getting the daddy. The original. Smash oh, on I'm Buxton. Jealous. Not that's all that t-shirt. I am jealous of that one. I remember one. them. You've, you go, mate. you've given Thanks, Luke the mate. big daddy yeah, one. No, I appreciate that. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll wear that. You wear it all the time. <laughs> yeah. You can wear it to the gym, Are mate. You, yeah, you can wear it. You can be seen in public wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> would it you, mad? Would you wear my merchandise or would you be embarrassed? Oh, I'd wear it. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be Isn't embarrassed. It, wait, it is mad though. Like, like 
not being funny, like, in, t- <laughs> in 2022, if you walk around with a legitimate Buxton drinker T-shirt, like, people, are gonna, cool. people will probably laugh at you. But what like, do you mean they'll laugh? But back in 2014, like, that was actually cool. It is cool. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, you're saying Joe's not cool anymore? You're saying I'm not cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, but isn't it interesting how YouTuber merchandise has gone from this sort of thing to now what we have on our table, which is this prime drink yeah. that KSI and Logan Paul have kindly sent us to try live on waffling. Mm. And a lot of people doing videos on it. I've purposely not watched any of them because I don't want any pre, <laughs> uh, like, you know, when someone says... Because I almost clicked on Mini Minters. Oh. And I was like, fuck, I don't want to watch that because I don't want to know anything about it yet. Yeah. Apparently, they're very good as a mixer. Well, that was their, that was Cal Freeze's video. Ethan's. Uh, yeah. yeah apparently, it's, apparently, like, it's actual banging. You've tried some, haven't you? Yesterday, I did a video hitting a crossbar. And actually, you had to hit them off a crossbar. Obviously, I'm very good at football. So I hit it, like, second time. Yeah. I tried the orange one, which we don't actually what, have it. Wait, how does that... What, so that was your reward? So I hid it, so I got to try it, and I you, just kept it. Yeah, mate, he hit it off the crossbar. Okay, and he got to try it. Yeah, right. I got, I got to get it. It's actually well good. Really? Have we got an orange one but here? What you did say in the car is it tasted like a Lucasade. Did yeah. it, did anything set it apart from a Lucasade? It was. It's a weird way of describing it. You know, you know how some water is smooth. Do you, do you ever get <gasps> that? Like, like water, water can be smooth or get, thick. No, as in like you know you got crap water. Fucking ragged. <laughs> no, but you. Some people will understand what I'm saying. You get smooth water. Like okay. Some water tastes smooth. Yeah. It tasted smooth. Okay. Well, it's without good. further ado, yeah. we're all going to have a go right now. Can people like try this at home yet? You can't buy you it can't, in England, I don't You think. can't buy it yet. Mate, this right here, hundreds of thousands of pounds. Really? It's wow. It's impossible to buy. So at first, guys, we're going we're gonna to start with tropical flunk. <laughs> <laughs> tropical plunge. No! <laughs> Tropical punch <laughs> flavor. I'm guessing this as a little um, punch at a party. Right. You can have it as a punch. Correct. I don't want to put alcohol and everything. What Shops I will it. say on first impression, the bottles and the branding, it's everything is it's clean. Yeah, I like it clean. a lot. It feels like upmarket. Yeah, yeah. It feels like it's going to make me Oi. prime and ready. Oi. You know, wait, 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 don't, wait. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. Joe, don't smell it. You've well. had Battenberg cake. Oh, let's have a go. Yes, I Battenberg have. Yeah. cake. Yeah. Okay. Battenberg. No, it smells entire. It makes me. I want to now drink this. Like right, Marty, let me Marty put it in Pan. my mouth. Let me quickly really delve in. Oh, <laughs> oh that's fruity. Wait, that's interesting. Oh, I quite like that. That's nice. Yeah, that is actually. That's like a cake. tropical punch that I've never tasted before. Tastes a bit like a like Marzi pan. Marzi pan. Marzi pan. Marzi pan. Yeah, it's got vibrations of that. Yeah, Battenberg. This is a cherry bakewell. Yeah. Cherry Bakewell type vibes. Yes. Oh, get a bit of vodka in it. Oh, Oy, that, yeah. Mate, I see that. I see that. Do you know, I actually... We should try it now. I bought the side men's vodka. How? I, it was sold out. Now, the first batch, it was for when we were going to go... When we were going to return to our, my London apartment to film, I was going to have it there and surprise you, but now we haven't filmed there, so it's just at my house. <laughs> it's just still <laughs> unopened. Yeah, but we can try it with that. Yeah, let's do it. Right, so that was phenomenal. Out of 10, what are you giving it, Malfoy? I could say a solid eight or nine. Okay. I'd, I'd give this an eight. I'm going to give it a... I'm going to give it a nine. Yeah. I fucking like this. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I would uh, uh, like more Can I take some with... with the... No, no, no. I, I'm <laughs> keeping all of it. Um, yeah, can we also point out, like, that's actually quite sick. It's only 25 calories in this one. Yeah, because I want to know, like, what is the actual benefits? Because if it's not got loads of sugar in, then how does it... Is it... Is it so it's... Uh, nine grams of fat, four grams. No, of no, no. That's that, that's stupid. that's the calories per gram. So oh. per gram, there's nine calories. All right. Now next up, fat. we've got blue raspberry. Okay, the blue one. Now blue raspberry is a great flavor. Have you ever had like pre-workout? Yeah. Blue ras is like a go-to. Blue yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, here we go. I like the color. Why are we shaking them? Are you meant to shake? I them? don't know. I don't know. It's what you do, isn't it? All right. Three, two, one. Oh, I can't even smell it yet. Oh, he's having an orgasm. Oh, fuck me up the arse. <laughs> Mate, that's quality. I smelt the mic. I don't know why I did that. Oh! Oh, it fucks me. Go on. Oh. I don't really, no need to make love to it. Mate, that's like the best drink I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> no joke. That's fucking quality. That's really nice. Oh, the, oh. Blue raspberry beats tropical punch. You know what? you got to respect that, like... Oh, fair enough. 
That slaps. They've actually made a, a very good drink. That's fucking gourmet. Actually, what I've just noticed is down here... This could be us, but we play in. 10% coconut water, which coconut water is apparently very cocaine. good. Food. It's got what? 250 milligrams of BCAAs in. It's got oh. antioxidants, 825 milligrams of electrolytes, so it's hydrating. Wait, so could I be using this as like um, my drink for like my workouts rather than my science and sport electrolyte tablets? Well, has it got yes. electrolytes in? Yeah, here. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I mean, like, fucking, that's what it's for, bro. Yeah, so- I mean, I'm rating the blue raspberry. Next <coughs> up, we've got Wait. grape. Oh, what are you oh, rating yeah, it? Fuck out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's really? Banging. Oh, yeah, See, easy. I prefer tropical punch. I prefer tropical. I'm going tropical. Go, oh, I'm I'm tropical punch 9. This raspberry 8. I'm going really? 8. 7. S- 7? 7. 7. 7, seven. seven is good. I'm going to like 7. Seven seven's, average. Seven's right. like a Rio. I'm not too sure about grape because I'm obviously scared of blackcurrant looking drinks. What? Yeah, what the good. darkness makes you feel weird. I'm not going to lie. You look at that. It looks evil. Yeah. Like the pink, the purple mm, looks. Yeah, bit. not too sure about this one. Whereas this one looks nice and pleasant, the blue one. Yeah. Right, ready? There's Here we something go. about blue as well. Yeah, I don't. Ooh, that smells a bit. I if it's black currant, I'm not trying it, by the way. Well, I, I, I smell that. I don't now want to drink it, whereas the other two I did, but let's see how, what it does. I love grape flavoured things. I've never had a grape. That's fucking bar. <laughs> I hate okay. it. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. If, I don't really want to try this one. I can't lie. I um, love it. No, try it, try it. I don't know that. The, bl- the blue, banging, tropical punch, very good. Grape, not for me. But others may love it. That grape one's more of like a um like an accidental order of a cocktail you didn't want. <laughs> <laughs> well it sounded good. Uh, the idea's good. It's just I d I'm gonna be honest, I was if it was in a blue bottle, maybe I'd like it better. What? That's true, mate. I have a serious really? serious phobia of like black current things. Obviously it's grape flavoured, it's black current. <laughs> You're fucking but, mental. No, but, but if you should, it, mate, I'm not being funny, but <laughs> like, the thought of Ribena is just fucking vile, like, actual rancid. Really? Like black current looking like shit is crap. <laughs> what, I, what I will say is like and you always have obviously both been to America. Grape flavoured things are like quite a big thing out it, there. No, it so is. This it is, is probably is. hitting the is American it like Vinto? audience. Great. Vimto. 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 I'm not sure. Vimto. No, Vimto's oh. black current. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so ratings. Malfoy. Oh, fucking bla- five. Grape. Five or four. Five? Four. Four? I'll give that a seven. Uh, it's seven. Same as Blue Raspberry. I'll give it a three. For me, too chemically. It didn't, like, the other too two hit the spot. That one, it was I like, I didn't like the flavour and it felt chemically. I will say, the first-hand experience of the orange. Yeah. I would say, like, an eight. What better than the other, the red and the they blue? Just, it's just you know how like an orange Luke say just bangs. It hits a spot. It just, yeah, it, yeah, you yeah. can't go wrong. Well, you could yeah. go wrong, but they haven't gone wrong. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's, I can't lie. It's a bang and drink. I won't lie. Well done, boys. Well yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. yeah these are these are yeah these are very good. Um, did you, did you see job. the clip on Sidecast? JJ talking about how he almost pulled out of Prime. No, what did he say? Was it? He was saying up? that he's so used to the way in the UK everything's quite slow. Do you know what I mean? Like whereas in America they went from nothing. To a fully launched brand in six months, right? And he was like, "This is moving too fast for me. Like, I'm very close to pull. Like, he almost pulled out because it was moving too fast. He couldn't quite like handle it, essentially." Yeah, well, I, mean, I guess it's quite intimidating, isn't it? Yeah, like, I think that's what you were saying. Because, yeah, because this is co- this is a serious brand. This is mm. not just like the Sidemen releasing merch yeah, so, or something. So, do you know? Do you have any inside info? Was it that like Logan basically made the, the brand and everything, and it was like JJ? Do you want to get on board? I think from from obviously I only saw the clip on TikTok basically. Right. That's it, I think it was Logan's thing, and he asked JJ to get on board. Yeah, because it makes sense to to smash the UK market to get here. You, yeah. You know, because Logan. He's not like necessarily as hated as say Jake, but he's not like got the UK in his palm. Whereas getting JJ on board, boom, you're it fucking. Might, I, it would have to have been a lucrative offer though to. Oh, it must that. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it must make perfect business sense. They have to be like partners or CEOs. And if you're like, so, so they're also not like sitting around like making bottles and doing like that part of it. So do you know? Are they uh, like say if we were to make a drink right now, right this second? I don't really know. How, how do you fucking go about that? Because they, they must be like shareholders in the company, but there's got to be a fucking secret entity that is just fucking... Well, they've got a team behind this. it. What, so you reckon it's just Team Maverick? Mate, they've got over a thousand employees. I reckon Jeff... Ross Clark! I reckon Jeff is involved. <laughs> Good old Jeff. I re- you know, I reckon Logan's that guy who just knows everyone and anyone. Who the hey, fuck is Jeff? You know, you know manager Jeff. Jeff. Oh god! Yeah, no, I know him. I know him. He's a great guy. Not manager John. No, he doesn't do that. Manager Manager John. Who the fuck is that? No, not manager John. Manager John's not even a manager. It's just manager John. Oh, (laughs) manager Jeff, we're talking about. I reckon he just knows everyone and anyone, and just went to an investor saying, "This is our idea." Yeah. Show me who can do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one meeting leads to another. Next thing you know, the guys that know what they're doing are involved. Yeah. No, there there is power in in. Uh, was it fucking working with others? Go bring up an idea, but working with others to bring oh. that to bring it to life. I also wonder how much, or if any, 
money Logan and JJ put in themselves. Because yeah. you would, I would have thought they would have got investment. Yeah, because surely like, I reckon million... they've put some in. Do you reckon? I don't know. Surely you can get this you can info. Collect you invest- can ask people. Ask <laughs> me Minter or some shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Think, I think that's a bit well private, yeah. isn't it? So why did the investment come from? Yeah, like go on. How, how did it, how did it work? Go on. It's intriguing though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Get him on a pod. Ask now, Malfoy. We have a sponsorship message, right? And it's from none other than our friends at HelloFresh, right? Now, for someone that in this sort of 2022 period has really decided to go for it nutritionally, gym wise, like mindset wise, HelloFresh, right? My mum cooks it every night. Mate, so do we. Lifesaver. You do as well. Yeah. Mate, we all have Bang, it. Mate, honestly, so good. Like, I can't speak highly enough of them. The other day, me and Joe made it's called Star Sty Thai style beef bowl. Oh my god! Oh yeah, I think I had. Have you had that one with the rice, the beef, like yeah. the the peppers, a bit of lime in there as well? And you know what? It makes you feel like you're a gourmet chef. Yeah. And it some of them take like twenty minutes. Mate, I made these duck tacos, and we're gonna oh, put up a picture right bang. now. Look at that meal! Banging, banging. Served that up to Ruth the other night. Went down a treat. Well, that's the thing. It's like quality, like mm. decent, good mm. stuff. You know, sometimes like prep meals or any stuff like that, like the ingredients may be off, like. Mate, well, I've had name. burgers from here, right? And I said, Mum, this is the best burger I've ever had from a household. Yep. HelloFresh. Hey, I tell you what the thing is, though, is that, like, you know the name HelloFresh? Like, all the food is actual well fresh. In it. In it. Well, what we're giving to you guys, right? If you want to get involved in this, you will get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes with the code WAFFLIN. That is WAFFLIN. All right? Do it after this episode. Back on with the show. But in other news, right? Kurt Zuma, fucking wanker. Yeah. Right? It's actually booting his cat. Right? I'm not going to play the video because it's fucking horrible and I don't want to put everyone in a bad mood. But footballer, Kurt Zuma, is freaking like drop kicking his kitty and it's like fucking horrible. It's like sickening. And the Met Police have said they're not, they're not going to press any further in investigating it. But and I'm not... like, kitties matter. But isn't it just, <laughs> mate, no, but not that. It's, it's actual like, it's just abuse. Fucked up. Yeah, it's animal abuse. Yes. No, but like, you, you can go to jail. Well, for... RSPCA have grounds to pursue this, right? Yeah, I think or they do. Yeah, no, they work? do. Of course, it's animal abuse. Um, um, do, yeah, someone like that would be. Able, I don't understand how it's not being investigated. You know he I fucking think, kicked a cat. Do you know what is something just as bad? <laughs> what is that? We were talking about it in a group chat. We were like, why would anyone record this? Yeah, He's, mate, the yeah. geezers recorded it because he thought it was funny yeah. and want some laughs in a group chat. Yeah, but he that's was ju- laughing. The geezer that know, filmed but, it, you hear him laugh. But that's, I think that's just as bad, Ooh, that he's yeah. finding it funny and putting it in the group chat. Yeah, like, but that, like, and the thing is, so that's been filmed. How much is shit like that just goes on and isn't filmed and we don't know about it? And it's just like, fuck. Mate, it's more I'm, and more footballers coming out that are just like, come fucked. Yeah, mm. and that's the thing. I was going to say, like, boys, do you think, like, like, are footballers maybe getting to a point where they're sort of like, they think they're indestructible? Because, it, you know, football is at such a high level now. Because, we've you know, there's more and more of this stuff coming out. Over the years, we've had, like, different sexual allegations made against footballers. And you've got, like, footballers I kicking think, fucking cats. I think it's, it's a lot of people in general, footballers have more of a spotlight on them. But there's fucking yeah. loads of lads out there that are doing, like, say, what Mason Greenwood does, like, uh, has done. Like, there's fucking bare people. It's just that that's come to light. That's been a, a, a able to be used to put share a spotlight on it. But I think it's hap- it's happening all the time. It's happening right now. And that's a horrible, scary, brutal truth on life. And it's like, what we have to do, and what everyone has to do, is try and raise awareness to it and fucking make... I don't know. It's cause you, how can you fucking stop people? Because if people are cunts and they're cunts... How can you stop them do being like that? These people are everywhere. It just so happens that these guys in particular just happen to be famous footballers and everyone's seeing them. But it's just like, I don't understand how, like, I physically couldn't bring myself to boot a cat. Like, I physically, like, there's no thing in my body that could ever, like, possess me to do that. So what, like, how... Yeah, like, I think you have to be a bad person at the same time, don't you? To the core. But I, I also feel like in... It, with regards to like footballers doing this sort of stuff, I still feel like they they think they're in some position of power. Mm-hmm. And I know like Mason Greenwood isn't some sort of anomaly, and like it, it doesn't happen outside the football world. But like I still feel like for what? How old is he? Twenty nine. Kurt Zuma. No, um, Mason Greenwood. Twenty. For a twenty year old to behave like that, I feel like he felt he was in some position of authority. Yeah. It's just but a he felt like slap. he was untouchable, and then he felt thought that he could treat this girl like this and then Kurt Zuma is probably the same we could just do whatever I'll kick a cat my mates will find that funny you know what Kurt Zuma. doing in his bail what 
playing Fortnite. Playing Fortnite? How do you know? So I know someone who's friends with him on Fortnite. What, and he's just... Just online. Well, just carry on with life as normal? Well, I don't know that, but I just, but then I'm like, what would you do if you're on house arrest? If he fu- He's on house arrest, so he's well, not I don't allowed know. out. I, he's, on, he's out on bail. In bail, so I'm guessing he can't really go anywhere. If he goes out, I think... leave the country. If he really goes like, out, out in public, done it, done he's it. getting fucking murked, mate. Yeah, he's yeah. Just playing Fortnite. Yeah, he physically cannot go out again, and I... I don't know, I saw it. You see, like, a lot of tweets, like, oh, such a young career, like, ruined like and wasted. Career, but, mate. yeah, like, does does that really matter? Like, he's just a cunt. <laughs> like, I don't care about Did the career. Did you see the um, Wraith, Ro- uh, Wraith Rovers recently? They yeah. signed David Goodwillie, who was convicted of rape back in 2017. They signed him, and uh, the women's team were like, what the fuck is this? So they, the women's team just instantly changed their name. Um, like, multiple employees quit the club. Uh, and then, like a day later, Rafe Rover said, "Oh yeah, uh, we've gone back on our decision. We made a very honest mistake. Poor a very judgment. Honest mistake. Poor judgment, and fired David Goodwillie. But they have to, of course, pay his full contract, oh. which was about one thousand one hundred a week. But it was overall they owed him one hundred ten grand. And then a little a big club with lots of money. So for a, a little club in Scotland, that's a lot of fucking money. And but why? How could they be so dilute? Like, uh, why are you signing? Like they've eval- they evaluated. It. They would have sat down and gone, "Yeah, no, it's it's in the past. It's but done. It's mate, like, it's over." And they put out a statement saying, "We we see we understand what he's done, but like he was too good of a player to pass oh, up." <laughs> and, I'm, and they're like, "Mate, he's an actual rapist, and you have a women's team." Because this is the thing, right? I assume, like, we're all on the same page of, like, people deserve, like, second chances. Not right. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm going to say. There are some things where, like, you've got to be like, nah, you've just fucked it, mate. Like, you're the, like that yeah. is it. For life, you're a, you're a rapist, a murderer or whatever. Like, What is the rehabilitation of it, though? Because, like, say, okay, so someone does that, horrendous. If they're only then treated like that, is are they more inclined to then do it more and go, like, right, that's who I am now. No one's going to ever accept me. So therefore, I might as well just do it more and be even more outrageous. Because that's a path that can go down. It's almost like if they serve the time, if they get the punishment and really fucking like have to suffer and whatever, and then like can prove and get fucking I don't know whatever that the, 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 they've learned. The, the, yeah, that they are they are a different, improved <laughs> and better human being. Truly, then should they then, because otherwise you're then going, right, it, there's them and us and them will then forever be, I think fuck, that, if there's still a, you know, I don't know, because otherwise, do you know what I mean? The problem at the moment, I think, is that for, if you take him, for example, he only served like three years in jail, yeah, four it's years. Like, and it's like people are going to yeah. jail for longer for having a bit of weed. Yeah, no, there needs to be yeah. way more of like, like a Chad, fucking... Chad Evans, another example. Yeah. He got Chad re Evans. Chad Evans, so he got re-signed by like who did he get re-signed by like Sheffield United or something? It was like a fairly big club. Yeah, I'm like, mate, he's literally come out of jail for being a rapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, uh, they, that's the thing. To, the fact that the jail sentence is not that long, like four years, and it's like oh. you're ruining someone's life. You're not yeah. just so. Yeah, yeah they don't always, just forget about it. They're not like, oh yeah, yeah no, that was last week. Don't yeah. worry, I'm fine now. Yeah. Like that is something that sticks with them. And the worst part is, is these people that are then getting it reemployed as footballers who are like. They're people that like children look up to. Mm. They're gonna think, well, like, yeah, oh, if they can get away yeah. with that sort of stuff. Then no, one of the worst things, while well, I read that apparently she's not for the Greenwood thing, she's not pressing charges. What do you mean? What do you mean? And he's he's just gonna get away with it. Wait, what? But for the for the police to have like taken him in and all that, she would have Still, had to have. They've claimed um, it was role play. What? what? Yeah. What she said it was role they, play. I think his lawyers have claimed it's role no, but play. That, no, but that's but her... apparently she's not pressing charges. According to I, who? I read it. I don't know if I'm spreading Where? it. Where? Like the sun? No, I don't know, but I read it like online. Well, Actually, I don't want to be spreading false information. Yeah, mate. I'll but fucking... at the same time, would it surprise you if a footballer got off? No. Well, no, Do you know to what be I mean? fair, like, she's probably fucking terrified. Yeah. No. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't surprise me if a footballer does get off. Yeah. The overall thing, though, is that like... <clears throat> Even that mentality of like wanting to force someone into like doing that sort of shit, like uh. that, like that's like you should be, you, you won't, that's not going to get you fucking, if you're thinking like pleasure, happiness, whatever, from that, from a male point of view, that you'll never ever get that. You'll never get that. Like it's about fucking actually fucking having a, having a, a moment with someone that is like where you're both involved and you're both connected. Yeah, connected on that level. And it's like, I just, I just can't get into the headspace of an individual that does that. It's, it's evil. 
Yeah, well, because I think we... That's what evil. We've spoken about, like, force play as a type of role play on here before, and I think we did unanimously agree that it's a bit dodgy. So, like, if, if it was role play, which, I mean, that, that to me, just Even sounds some, like... Some, it's males and females that have the role play of... Of that forced sex, like there are girls I know, I have girl friends that are literally like, yeah, my fetish is like rape role play. Like they literally are like, that is what I'm into, and it's like, fuck, where the fuck does that come from? Like, because that is fucking weird, mate. Also, yeah, how would you know where the line? There's got to be a safe word, but like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, there does have like, to be a safe word. Yeah, mate, it's a, it's a mental like topic, and I almost like. But then you're like. It's happening way too. Mate, I'm not being funny. It's happening way too often. Like Rubinio. yeah, ten years in jail for rape. Yeah, mate, mate, and that how long ago? How long? How 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 much time has that been over? That he's is it only it, just happened? I think it's only just started. Right. Yeah, I think he only went in last year or the year before something like that. But it's like it's it's, it's happening. Benjamin Mendy, he's like nine, yeah. eight or Sigurdsson. nine. Adam Sigurdsson. Johnson. Yeah, well, Sigurdsson hasn't been. He hasn't been named yet, has he? But he was. He yeah, but he, he was a nonce. Is he not? Really? Yeah. He does look like with underage. Well, yeah. And dodgy, well, but also there's there's been allegations made against Cristiano Ronaldo. Really? And, Neym- and Neymar. <laughs> Neymar thing. Have you ever watched the Neymar documentary? No. Turns out she just uh it's just so hard, didn't it? Like turns out she made it up. Yeah, but how's that facts? It was well, I don't it was proven in court. Yeah, but what a footballer getting away with it? I don't know. Like, yeah, wait, I don't I'd, know. I'd, I'd need to see that to make. I think it there was an alibi as well. Or it is, like it that. is also it's, so it's, hard it's to scary, prove that it, it did yeah. happen, yeah. isn't it? You know, if no one was there and it's been like four to five years or whatever yeah. since it happened, how on earth are you going to prove it, mate? Facts, facts. And in another, in another thing, in another fucking another topic, um, that I was talking about with a mate, is you know the Travis Scott thing that. Uh, the tragedy of the concert, the Astro World thing. Mm. Yeah, talking about the conspiracy of how that was one big satanic ritual thing. <laughs> and at first, I was like, "What? Shut up!" And then, like, I, I was like, "Fuck it! I'm gonna have a look like into it. Like, what? I, who's saying this and why?" Okay. And I got- wrote, I wrote down like the different um, the points that contribute to why it has some like which could be evidence to it being that. Okay, are you ready? Um, so I did it in a voice, like, you know, when you record your voice and it writes it down as text, so it might be a bit, okay. um, this Travis Scott concert, basically here are, oh, here are the eight points. Um, so eight people died and there were eight flames, right? First thing. Well, what do you mean on the stage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing was, st- was of eight, eight flames, right? That's just one thing. Um, the, the the stage was in the shape of an upside down uh, like Jesus Christ cross, which is the symbol for Satan. Yeah. Uh, the all seeing eye, which uh, was what was at the back of the stage, which was a symbol for Satan. Um, and the mountain range that was <coughs> on the top of the stage. Um, someone said there's a uh, an area of the world that is like known as fucking like a cursed whatever area that's i don't know what I, I need to fucking read that bit but it was like it's this mountain range and it resembled that right um so astro world okay now astro we think okay it's just like space like whatever Ooh, all bitches. of that <laughs> <Ooh, bitches. laughs> but like um there's a a prince of hell that is ast prince astroth something okay so someone related that to that the entrance of astro world resembled what the famous Im- uh, image of hell looks like, right? which is an o- uh, a head with, and you enter via, via the mouth, right? And that is, but it was Travis Scott's head, right? And it was like, so there was that. Um, the flaming dove was shown, which is a, like, so the flaming red dove, which is a very symbolic thing for uh, satanic stuff. His shirt that he was wearing was of a portal of good going into evil. Okay. Um, and whatever. And the, uh, the the stage was also in the shape of a pyramid. That's Illuminati shit. But then also there were frequencies that were played that allegedly people were like, this was fucking, they were like, ah, oh, like hurting their ears and whatever. And it was like, a lot of the reports are saying that like, it was as though people were, under some sort of spell. 
Sounds a bit mental. Now, the people that died died of cardiac arrest, right? Heart attack. Oh, eight. Hey. Yeah. Really? Is that in the coronary report? Coronary. <laughs> well, they were, so, so it was like, wait, I need to be, uh, that was, uh, I need to double, double check on that. Let us know in the, in the comments. But I believe they were all, and there were uh, hundreds of other people that all had other, other people that had heart attacks. So it was like, why are so many people having heart attacks? If it was a crush, okay, yeah, if, if, you, if, the, if you're getting crushed and your body, the oxygen's not getting around your body, that can cause heart attack. But like, of course, so, so many what, people were literally like spasming out. And, all, and there was, I don't know, it was just all a bit. And when someone's getting, there's footage of someone getting carried out who's literally dead. And he's there literally staring at them going, yeah, yeah, just staring at it in this like fucking weird way. And it was like, you look at it all and you're like, mate, this is, this like, fundamentally, like you're on stage and you, you, you could, you know what you're doing. He was like, keep the music going. Yeah. Like literally say, keep the music going. Yeah, he, goes, wasn't that he wasn't like, stop, stop, stop. Everyone stop. There's someone like people, people are getting carried out dead. He was just like, carry on going. And it was like, mate, I don't know. It was just like, it wasn't just one of my classic on oh, spiritual weird shit. Looking into it, it was weird because one of one of the big things was that he didn't stop it. Didn't he? he just yeah, he didn't carried on like gigging. Could that have been also like he was just delusional? I mean, there's could be the thing I mean? of like you're feeding off your your gas. Like if you've got hundreds of thousands of people, like yeah, like chanting for your name or whatever. The crowd were chanting, "Stop the show! Oh, stop really? the show!" They were chanting, "Please stop!" And he wouldn't. Was, and it was like, "What the fuck?" Has That's he weird. done that kind of? Co has he? Has his previous concerts are all, all like based on hell and that sort of stuff before? Is that I like don't know. His a lot thing? of a lot of his songs are like uh, yeah. There are a lot of I, I I don't know the lyrics, but I saw reports that a lot of songs have like satanic shit all in. So it's, it indicates that he is like, like, for example, that could just be like that's his thing for yeah, but if performance. That's your but then it just so happens that people got crushed as well. It's just like. If that's your thing, so I'm, though, like, I'm that the believer in like say you say you fucking are about being satanic. I don't know. There's loads of people out there that like that, though, aren't there? You, but you, it's just uh, as in my thing is like, yes, he could be all about Satan and doing like a whole theme around Satan and whatever. Yeah. But for him to that then to also say like that the part of the plan was for these people to die, where bear in mind you have to think he is still a human who's just had a kid and he's got his mm. his other half is also pregnant. Yeah. I think there's a different kind, I don't know, the different kind of person. So, so you saying like bringing two and two together seems speculative. Yeah. Like th there's no, I'm not denying that all the Satan thing that could very much be, that was like part of the act, that was part of the whole concert and experience you wanted to go down. But I don't think, well, I'd like to think that he's not the one that's like, Die. So, like, do you if, know what I mean? Do if you, you know if you went to a haunted house and there was a murder, chances are it probably wasn't like a demon that committed the murder. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, because, yeah. I, and also, what another thing we could mention is that you say all these people died of heart attacks. Is that a cover up? Cover. Up. Like, do we what? know that? Like, what when you get cr like, what else would you die from? Like, I think, like, do we know? Like, how do we know they didn't die from other causes? And how many dodgy pills were there at this festival? Yeah, but there's, okay, a couple of people died, but, like, multiple people, like, multiple people dying and, like, loads injured. Like, people just getting, like, even where there isn't, like, there's videos where there's not a crush happening. That's the weird thing as well. So apparently it was just a big surge from the crowd and everyone's getting crushed. It was just areas where everyone around is normal and then people are just fitting and having heart attacks and getting carried out. Mm. Not, not in an area where there's, it's not, and that's where I'm like, what the fuck? Why are they just having heart attacks? Is What's causing that? It is a bit scary. Like you can have like dodgy drugs, but that, like if they, if they, I don't, I don't, I don't know this, but you'd need to have a look to see if on the reports have, were drugs detected. I, I do wonder when, if you, when someone gets crushed to death, what is the actual cause of death? Because you know how some people like, when they fall off a building, they don't die by hitting the ground. They die by having a heart attack On before the they hit the ground. Yeah. So it's like that can happen. Yeah. All the time. But like, yeah. Yeah. Mate, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just. It's and I can't lie, that is a bit fucked up, though. Now, lads, right? Crypto, mm. arguably the currency of the future, right? It's something that we're all going to be operating on. Would you say you're curious? Would you, you know, say that you're wanting to learn more? A hundred percent, man. And I, and I think we all dabble, don't we? we yeah. Dabble. I dabble, dabble, but I want to know more. I want to know what I'm doing. Mm. So, what would you say you use, like, reliable platform that you would go to? For me, personally, I don't know about you boys, but I use Coinbase. Legitimate. Legitimate. Well, that is interesting because our sponsorship message here 
is from Coinbase, the company that we actually use, right? We use that app. They offer portfolio management and protection, learning resources, and a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. Can I just say, for a very confusing thing, their app is amazingly simple. Super simple, it is. Really very, very simple. Yeah. Even I can understand it. Now, for a limited time, new users can get 10 euros in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash waffling. That is coinbase.com slash waffling for 10 euros for free Wait. in Bitcoin. So again, we're just giving away free money. Free money, mate. Free freaking money. So obviously, do your research. Your investments can go up as well as down. But that is that. Back on with the show. There's also been like a lot of uh, fan incidents in, fan. in crowds at football games recently. Oh, mate. That was another thing. So obviously, you're like whenever before in our lives is that, have there been so many casualties in the crowd of people having heart attacks just randomly in the crowd and also athletes like the footballers and you know it's, it's what is that the vaccine like because that's a one of conspiracy isn't it and i'm not spreading anything or whatever but like some that's what some anti-vaxxers would go like oh it's only since we've been having this vaccine that put lab ones like one of, lots of people are having a heart attack so well then or, or could it be linked to coronavirus just or is it, yeah, for if you have that. COVID, yeah. Obviously, this isn't for the footballers, but for the crowd. Or is it, we're only we're seeing more of it now because of modern technology. Yeah. And what? it's more it's more accessible Whoa. and quick. Like, how do, like in the 60s, for example, if someone died of a heart attack in the stadium, chances are you're not going to know about it. Yeah, but know? in the noughties, in like between 2000 and 2010, if someone in the crowd has a heart attack and dies, we're hearing about it. Do you know well, what not I mean? Necessar- yeah, true. Well, not necessarily. Mate, if people die, people die. Like, because people he, die in the crowd. Like, I feel yeah. like... It's just become more a bigger thing over the last ten. Do you not? Do you know? What Since I'm it's happened to like some Since high profile, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. Like but I, Amber, yeah. Amber. I just think still, like at a, fo- at a Premier League football match, if yeah. someone starts having a heart attack in the crowd and dying, that you're hearing about. You're, they're not just going to cover up every single one. Hmm. Like, yeah, I do. Just, fi- I do think it seems like strangely common. Yeah. Recently. Yeah. And I like it definitely is something that needs to be looked into because it's happening like a lot. Yeah, that yeah. There's a lot of side effects that are. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to go into one thing, but like you know. Well, the, no, because we have no idea, do we? Like, yeah, well, like, what yeah, is I've the got cause a, of this yeah, anyway? I, I sort of know someone as well, but it's like, I don't, I'm not talking about on here, but like there are certain side effects people are getting that are like they can't prove it's linked to the vaccine, but but you know, within themselves they know it is. They know. Like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like it's like again, if if not like where does it come from? That's just speculation. Thing. I know isn't exactly it? that. So it's like it's a toughie, isn't it? Shit, man, nuts, fucking nuts. I think I think those elf bars, right? That you're chonging on, they we don't know what the fuck they're doing what's to our a, bodies. An elf bar, right? So these, right, show it. So so basically these new vape things. So you have geek bars, elf bars, all of that, mate. Kids are fucking chonging on them. Yeah. Like it's nothing. Like absolutely all the time. You know, everyone on night outs, nights out are chonging on it. And, like, no, what's in that, mate? What is in that? Is it going to be in 10 years' time? We're all like, oh, my lungs are absolutely collapsing because they're... No, thank you. Like, they do, some of them do taste quite, quite all right. I've tried them, right? I've fucking... I've had nights where I'm just... You know, and you end up, like, doing it out of habit. But... Habit. Um, I'd never vape, man. That's like... Oh, this is bad, but... A bit of white powder on the weekend is all right. Yeah. White powder? Oh, what? You did that? Well, no, I just... It. The but thing is, I me. struggle... The thing is, I can't really, like... I've never really smoked or vaped because like it just fucks my asthma. What? <laughs> yeah, no vape facts. Like even in Amsterdam, like need my inhaler. Oh, but yeah, I always yeah. find it's not really like <laughs> she's like real bad. Like my asthma's actually quite bad. People yeah. people have some strange stances on <laughs> things like this where they'll be like, "Oh yeah, no, yeah, I'd never do something like that," and then they'll go out and smash like twelve pints at the weekend or something like that's really good for them. Yeah, it is healthy. But like Yeah, this, basically you're at in mouth. <laughs> yeah, but like mate, you're all you're you're putting your you're putting like diseases in your body. But ten pints that's alcohol's right. poison. Alcohol's like healthy for you. It's carbs, mate. <laughs> you're put, I'm alcohol sorry, is what are you gonna do? Put, yeah. put carbs in your body. Side, put carbs <laughs> in your body or I don't know, fucking like ugh. It's a legal drug, alcohol. Look chemicals. Takes it, like it kills How this shit is legal people, and yeah. mushrooms isn't mm. beyond me. Mushrooms, fucking cool. Yeah, natural grows out of the ground. No, but actually good for the brain. Like in, in the right dose, fucking powerful for creativity, and I love it. Well, at the end of the day, like I've ever done the, it. The majority, <laughs> the majority of things come from plants. You know, yeah. weed, cocaine, the lot of them. They're all just natural remedies. You know, paper. 
paper. Look, cocaine is like to like get it into like its yeah, form. Yeah. Like battery acid is used. And like, like that. I've like been that, talking yeah. to trees recently. What on earth are you? <laughs> no, mate. It's fucking quality. Right, so I've been walking my dog more. He's gone crazy. What the no, fuck no, is listen, happening? listen. They're talking back to me. I can hear them. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. It's no. T-Beard. He's, right, so he's tapped. No, Something's fuck off. Happened. Listen to me. It's the mushrooms. Shut up. I was in the forest walking little Mooney, right, early, my dog, and I was feeling vibrations. I was like feeling quality, yeah, from the walk, but walking through a city doesn't make me feel like this. Walking in anywhere else where there's not like nature, yeah, but walking in and around these trees. And I was like, listening, uh, most normally I listen to music. And this time, right, the other day, I took my earphones out and was like, I'm just gonna sort of like listen to nature. And I was like, fuck, this sounds quality. And then I was like, all right, I'm gonna stand in front of a tree. And I sort of felt, and I got filled with dopamine. It made me feel quality. And I was like, oh, maybe this is why people hug trees. And then, right, you know, when I'm like, nang, 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 I started doing that to it and it felt good. <laughs> like letting just be in myself. Wait, sorry, can you just imagine walking through the forest? <laughs> you you bump into like, Joe going, uh, yeah. <laughs> on your ones. Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. Ernie's like, <laughs> I, 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 I. You know, it was you really good. hugging a tree. No, I didn't hug it. I did touch it. I was like, I want to see if I can feel anything in that way. But I was just sort of like, just expressing myself. Like, well, uh, mate, no! and, and you're trying to tell us that you weren't high as a fucking car. No, yeah, no, I wasn't. This was you weren't just, microdosing mushrooms. No, no, no. This was middle of the day, like just normal. I, and it made me realise, fuck, these, like, because obviously I'm hot on energy and whatnot and all of that. And I was like, trees. <laughs> stone it. No. Give me a bonus. And I was like, fucking hell, trees are, are powerful things, mate. They are actually, powerful they are powerful and I fucking love them. And now walking, like even before that realisation, but I walk in the forest every day. And it's fucking made me feel class. No, that, yeah, no, walking in nature does. Yeah. But like the... The by the, yourself going... <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. the tree, like, I would, th- I would look at you and think you're batshit crazy. Yeah, but that's because you're not on my level. <laughs> I don't think anyone is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Surely Ernie is, like, at one point, like, looking at you like, what is this guy? <laughs> what yeah, guy? yeah, no, no. You <laughs> must just think, like... Like, what did the tree say back to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, did they, they go, they, no, Joseph! It's like a telepathic feeling. Right, so what did you feel? I can fucking, predict your future. Fucking empowered. <laughs> no, I felt quality, mate. I literally was just like, you know what? <laughs> the tree was like, come deeper into the forest. No, mate, no, mate. I literally <laughs> just, I was like, all I'm saying is it's more than just the walking that is the reason why I feel quality after a walk in the forest. It's more than just the walking element, more than just the endorphins. Yeah, but being, that's what I believe. But walking in nature has always been like more but of why? a Why? Because better the thing. fucking trees are giving you good energy. It's just They're fucking a, good shit. You're going for a walk in nature, and you're just that like one with the nature. Yeah, but why? You're why does the, the nature do that? Life. Why? Does, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because everything. I know people. I, I've but seen the, the comments slagging off me talking about energy and shit. And fuck off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> listen, Wait, hang about. No, listen. Basically, you walk through fucking busy London. Why does it make you feel stressed or whatever? Because you're literally everything is a transfer of energy. Everything is. You're either getting fucking negative shit thrown at you or positive shit thrown at you. And you either take it on or you, or you don't take it on. That's why, like, I'm telling you, and when you fucking... It's, it's complex shit, but anyways. Oh, yeah, like, when you're away from the busy, frantic life, you're in the forest, you're just more calm. Yeah, because out there, you're exposed to more fucking, like, negative inbound shit. Like, yeah. hustle and bustle, like, fucking yeah. whatever. There is more... Nothing. Yeah, but uh, I've been in nothing, in empty roads, and it's, that feels weird. It's not the same. Yeah, because yeah, but you're, that's your argument. You're saying no, because there's nothing. No, it's just less franticness. But when no, you're but in the, the forest, that, yeah. you're surrounded by actual nature. Yeah. Which is, brings you back to caveman type, so it brings your core. Yeah, but also the trees, out. the living fucking plants and trees well, give do. off something. I'm telling you, they give off something. I don't you, know what it is, but they give off something. They give off oxygen. Maybe, but they're living in it, so it wouldn't Mate. surprise me. It just basically wouldn't surprise me if they literally are like... Is there more oxygen in a forest than central London? What is that why you're getting... Are you getting oxygen high? Well, it's just purer air, isn't it? Yeah, because you know, they always say, like... You know how everyone's like, talk to plants, it'll make you feel better. What? Huh? <laughs> Who said that? No, no, when you... You know, they always... This is a quote. You've been it's talking a, to him again. No, it's a well-known thing. Like, you should, if you, if you want to, like, feel better and get better, talk to plants. All right, but try it. You got anything you want to get off your chest? Hush, Oi. No, it's because... um, <laughs> It's because you, you breathe out carbon dioxide and what do you get back in return? Pure... Oxygen, so that will make your brain feel better. Maybe it's true. It's hashtag facts, man. Right then. Well, listen, I fucking thought I'd just include this. Get it up, Tom. 
two oh five today, right this morning, I deadlifted two hundred and five kg. Do you know what Luke said to me in the car? What? Sorry, Luke. Well, I'm going to bring it up on the pod. Well, I didn't say that. No, Luke goes. I've been gymming for seven years, and not once have I ever screamed in the gym. <laughs> Yeah, what is that about? Like, do you know what I said well, back you to him? You try fucking lifting 205 kg, Do you know KG, what I said back mate? to him? I said... No. Nah. <laughs> what? I said... <laughs> Go on, say it. I said, well, you know, Joe's smaller than most humans, so he has to try it. <laughs> no, do you know what? Right, my actual short legs are good for dead, dead lifting. <laughs> I don't have to lift it as far off the ground. No, it's Trust, true range of say, motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I literally... I, it's easy for me to pivot up because I'm not... My legs aren't long. So, yeah, that me being little does actually help for that. <laughs> but, like, mate, I, 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 then, when when I shouted, the, the final shout, I did. But the first one, that just came that out. That was just your energy being released. It just fucking, ah! And it just, because I was, mate, you're, when you have to give it everything, it's mental. Yeah, man, I do it in the running sometimes. Do it's you, just sometimes going like, ah! You know? Hmm. Or you swimming. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, no, I mean, I said. Well, you're no. me swimming just under water, like, blah, blah, blah. No, no, like, like, <laughs> No, I get into like this weird, like, um, you know how we talk about flow states? Flo- fellatio? F- no, self fellatio. No, uh, flow state. Yeah. At the end of my songs, <laughs> when I'm proper, you know, when you're proper, like, you, you're just, you're, you're going through the motions, you're, you're not actually yeah. thinking about it, you're just doing yes. it. I like, I'm underwater and my eyes are like, what? They're like proper, like, spazzing out. And I'm just like, dush, <laughs> dush. I don't really, I can't really describe it, but I, like, I go into like a different zen right. and I can get further. Well, and, and then further. you shout. Huh? How's that linked to shouting? No, I don't know. It's sort of my own oh, version of oh, shouting. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I go into like a spaz mode, but you shout. I just think Can when I you're when that? you're giving your all, like there's just you, yeah, like. Have you ever given it your all in a sporting environment? Like, if you if you deep it that if you actually deep it. Yeah, doesn't sound convincing. Hmm. That sounds like a no. Well, have, have you? you? Ever, have you? Have you? Yeah, man. When? At uh, the end of my triathlon, I went to a different running capability that I didn't think was possible. Yeah, but it depends because that's very different to like a gym session. But I feel, I know, I feel like in a gym session, it's a lot harder to go to your full potential because there's no, the only competition you have is within yourself. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So like if you did a competition, well, I guarantee if you did a competition, like a weightlifting competition, you would lift more than that 205 PB. Yeah, potentially. I think a lot of it comes with like, how big is your drive? Mm. Like, as in, like, it's where I think if you've been through, like, pain, you can fucking, like, you think about that shit when you're doing a lift, mate. You can, you get, that gives you power. And that's what I'm saying. There's pain in pain. There's power in pain. Like, if you've had it all easy, you've probably not got as much of, like, fucking, yeah. let's go. And that's, you know what I mean? When it do comes, you, I don't know. Do you ever do that thing where, like, sometimes if, like, I want to get one more rep, like, I'll say in my head, like, if, don't do this rep, you're gonna die tomorrow or something. Oh, you like you, t- you no, you know you do something like you you like te- yeah. you tempt fate <laughs> to like push yourself. Oi, oh, no, do you know I, what I mean? No, I know exactly what you mean. My mum, oh, okay, sorry, mum. Basically, my mum was walking a dog, and she was like, she really needed like piss, and she like was like, oh, if I get home, make it home without wetting myself, then. <laughs> Um, I will lift like what was it 100 kg at my deadlift competition. She got to the front door of home and before getting in, she pissed herself. She got wet herself. <laughs> why would you? Why would you? Wait, say why that? Is that anything to do? Because she was like, she did that thing. If I get home yeah. in time, I will lift this, but and she it, didn't get and she failed because she wears. And did she lift? She hasn't done the competition yet. Oh yeah, it was only like last week. No. Anyways, <laughs> no, I just. Yeah, like, so a lot of times, like when I, you know, like when you need a wee, yeah, and then you get home, you like anticipate that you're going for a wee, and it gets even more intense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had that a lot of times in the lift. I go to the wee in the toilet. You go, okay. I make it. <laughs> Why did you tell us that story? Because <laughs> well, it related. Yeah, it, like it surely, was legitimate. Have you ever done that? Where where you like you tempt fate with something in your head to make sure you like. In my get it done. Yeah, get it. Yeah, get we it all have, done. We, yeah, we all have triggers to fucking that make us get there. And I think yeah, that may be your one. My, what What are your ones? Mine's the waffling cut, mafia. Mine's, mine's a cutting corner one. No, oh, no cutting oh, corners. Yeah, but what's life. making you stop doing that? What What makes you stop cutting corners and go for the easy route, Malfoy? Because as soon as you let it slip once, game over. Slippery slope. That's the thing. Big thing. Like the more you give into temptation to take the easier route. The more it feeds it, you have to starve that part of your brain. You do, and like that's what I've realised massively through like what I've been doing in recent time. So, 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 so true. So good. 
you want to read a passage? Okay, so now Malfoy is going to get up the Bible. How to get a girlfriend. Um, the latest to this. Ah, oh, good page. Good page. Here we go, Malfoy. What is it? Matthew. Confidence is not the absence of fear. The absence of fear is ignorance. Sorry, what? This, this is big words. So this is a big mindset thing, and this I I feel like this could be applied to a few things, but I I, I can't quite figure out what his point is. So confidence is not the absence of fear because so you're still scared when you have confidence is that what he's saying yeah i think what he's saying is you, you if you look at someone comfortable who is confident you might think oh they're not scared of anything yeah but what he's actually saying is the absence of fear is ignorant so to be not scared of everything you're being ignorant because you oh, should be scared of things okay it's actually true but you mate no that is legitimate yeah because if you're scared of things it can propel you to go further well yeah it's like the, the old yeah because yeah mate you think a confident person, oh, he's just not scared. I wish I wasn't scared like him. Mm. But really, he is scared. He is aware of the fear. But how he reacts to that is what makes the difference. Mm. That is actually a really good point. Good. It's just, you can relate as well with, you can say fear or like pressure as well. You know how, you know how some people are like, yeah, man, don't get nervous, feel no pressure. Yeah. It's not a good thing. You should feel pressure pressure and you should feel nervous it's all about how you deal with that pressure yeah. and now guys quick message from our friends at stitch fix do you have a problem picking out the right sort of fashion that suits you do you not really know what to pick whether you're male female whatever right stitch fix have you covered well i know that this is a service that malfoy used heavily when his girlfriend left him and he had to buy his own clothes. Boy, that is actually facts. Yeah. So true. Like, Stitch Fix proper sorted me out over the summer. Yeah, because basically what they do is you fill out a little simple questionnaire about your taste, your budget, your size. And then they do all the work for you, picking out some lovely designer and normal, right? Yeah. It's not all just pricey stuff, but some great clothing for you. And you get to talk to someone one on one. Exactly. Yeah, Real like people. Help advise like, if, stuff if like there's that. something that you've like got your eye on, maybe something like this. You can say, actually, I saw this geezer wearing this and I'd quite like something like this. And they'll go and find it for you and source it. Exactly. And if you don't like something, you can send it back, right? You don't have to keep everything they send. Now, if you want to get your hands on some of this and get the hassle out of your life of picking what to wear, get started today at stitchfix.co.uk slash waffling and get 20% off when you keep all five items. That's stitchfix.co.uk slash waffling for 20% off, right? You won't. Be disappointed. Back on with the show. He goes on to say, <laughs> confidence for me is the ability to do what you know you should even in the presence of fear. What you should, comma, even in the presence of fear, but he hasn't put the comma. He doesn't know how to okay, do Okay, should. Even, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, no matter what emo emotion, you observe emo emotions for what they are, but you ultimately know how you're going to do what you're going to do. Nothing gives you more confidence than getting your life in order. Mate, facts. Yeah. Cleaned my London apartment, been dreading that, and it's been in the back of my mind for weeks since Christmas. Did it. Felt quality. Oh, mate, we redid my broom. You redid it? Yeah, like, like got went to Ikea and got, oh, like, mat. Mate. New shelving thing. Got rid of crap. Yeah. Oh, it feels amazing. I used to dread going in that bedroom. It Does it so look shit. like yeah. you live with a girl now? Yes. Oh, I do love good. it. Like, quite nice. Oh, I love Your it. Your environment is so important, mate. I love it. I, yeah. New candles, like even plants. Oh, it, oh, I love it. That's really I good. I love mate. everything about it. Yeah, because your new house, have you like done that up? <coughs> like, yeah. Because I can imagine you're keeping <coughs> it sick, Nick. Yeah, it's in good, Nick. Got um. Oh obviously, God. it's been very girlified. Oh. I mean, like, it's it, class, though, isn't it? I think, like, to I a good know. extent. Oh. Well, I haven't got a girl in my you life. You do need a girl's touch. Yeah, maybe. There are things that are in that house that I would never have, but that, like, because they're there, I quite like them. So they say, like, live, love, laugh. I've got, oh, we've got like, like different crap stuff. Up. Go on, oh. what? Like, what? I, I literally don't even know what it Give says. I haven't read them, but you know, like, little things that you, like, hang up with, like, a nail or something, and it just hangs there, and it has some, like, bullshit well, quote. we almost there. got the, uh, you know, the vanity mirror thing you, you made. Oh, yeah, that's quite sick. What's that? Like, oh, a What's a vanity mirror? You know, like, a one where they do the makeup. Like with the Hollywood the lights. Cool lights. Well, they're quite good. I'll they make the it look peng. Yeah, they do. We're going to get them when George moves out of the flat. You've got to make it yourself, though. Yeah, I know, man. It's make fine. it? Well, so, like, you buy the mirror, and you buy the lights, and then you like. You got like, like IKEA special, super easy. It is easy. I'll just buy a vanity mirror, like super easy as well. But yeah, um, yeah man, it's class. No, no, it, it is nice, and that's why. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy living with a girl. That is good. That is good. Oi, um, 
I might be going to Norway next week, boys. Why? So, obviously, I'm going to Dubai. Wait, when is that? Is that happening? Well, we invited. So, the, 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 so the Dubai thing, us. the reason why this is relevant, this isn't just pointless, is I went to film for my, like, this transformation vid that I'm making up on Beachhead. And as I was doing it, I was like, it's a cool shot, but... It would be cooler in Norway. It would be cooler to... Inco- I, I've used those clips a lot. And it's cool to have that, but I think a similar sort of shot on, like, top of a mountain in Norway and me climbing that mountain in Norway, powerful shots. And then also in Dubai, so you've got the winter sort of vibe, the summery sort of vibe of... Dubai, like running along the beach, fucking the successful shit. Like I don't know, like jet ski and snorkeling. Like I want to have like quite. Do you know whereabouts in Norway you want to go? Uh, yes, because obviously we went to the uh, Lofoten Islands. Well, yeah, so with us. So yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. So that, uh, that, that, that's one of the potentials. Oh, Another yeah. one is a mountain that I found that is like. Why wouldn't you just go to like Ben Nevis or something? Because this, this, I, I saw this fucking cliff edge in Norway. And I've never been so gassed by a shot. I'm going to quickly show it to you. And if you guys want to see it at home, well, then you look to my box and drink off. You're going to have to wait till my video's out. We're well, not going to put it. At... Well, it's no, because I don't, want to, it I don't want to give away the shot, do I? Like, secret. for me, this was quite a big thing. So, one second, guys. Who's one... filming your clip in Dubai? Um, so, I it's going to be. Oh, yeah, oh that. mad thing, that's well that yeah. Do you yeah, know how to get there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a four kilometre trek. Oh, calm. Um, Run it in 20 minutes. Yeah, mate, exactly. So it's four kilometre trek, but I'm just like using this chance to make a video and it incorporate my filmmaking side because that like gasses me. Also, you get to see parts of the world you may not necessarily exactly. see. Exactly, it's combining it. It made me realise like, fuck, I've got my life together at the moment. It still oh, avoided the question of... Sorry, what was that? Who, who's filming Dubai? this? Who's fulfilling uh, this? So... Dubai is me and Lawrence because most of it I'm doing I'm doing a lot of oh, drone you're taking Wait. your other friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I am. We missed the cut. Lawrence. I'm not gonna lie. Lawrence watches a lot of motivational stuff and he really gets what I'm trying to make. And I feel like yeah, right. I mean, and I've been doing my voiceover with it, like recording that. Don't take it personally. Wait, listen. I can hold a camera as well. No, no. I know you can. I know you can. But it's more of like Lawrence, a filmmaker, is he? <laughs> no, it's got not, experience with cameras. No, it's not personal. It's not personal. Not personal. But I am. That's I have been. Personal. I have written like a the, the speech. So, so for a voiceover, I've written basically like a speech, like I perform on stage, right? And I've sort of been bouncing it back and forth between me and him. So he's sort of already involved in a project, and it just makes sense. So please he, don't take it personal. No, it's fine. Let's hope he can hold a camera, man. Yeah, he not can. Out the sky. <laughs> Honestly, it's fine. Like, like Look, obviously, you've I think you've been promoted already. above. Camera boy, right? You are now like I talent. Of, I was more thinking about the holiday today. for what free holiday. Yeah. yeah. See, that's the thing. Like you're coming for a free holiday to like sort of freeload off me. Yeah. What do you Whereas think he's going? Because we are he's very staying in a five star <laughs> hotel for, for a week in of Dubai. Of course, of course. But as in, like he is gonna he is invested in this project that I'm making. Whereas you'd literally be coming just to. No, I'll be invested if I got a free holiday. You don't give a fuck about the video. <laughs> you, don't, you don't care about the video I'm making. <laughs> yeah, we do. But I we do also care about the Norway. Holiday. That'd be sick, though. Norway's going to be cool, but at the moment it's like minus four and below. Oh. And mental. No, but it's like, it's cool. I'm going to feel like doing a Call of Duty mission. You know, like the one in the snow. The jacket. Well, no. Like, you know, when you're in the snow. The jacket. Array. It's my film. Um, But yeah, no, I think it's going to be really legitimate and really fucking sick, and I can't wait to make that video. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Because like, I look like, I, well, I was in such a shit place like last summer, and I've already spoke about it on this pod, but to see the progression in, in the footage that I've got already, it's fucking sick. And for the Even first the time... Month. Well, yeah. Grr. Nah, but it's more like the mental uh, yeah. as well. It's not just a physical thing this time. Like, I've, done, I've got in good physical shape before, but mentally been on the floor. And it's like the all round thing, and that's why I'm excited to. Got a mixture of both this time. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping to also combine a bit of travelling with work as well. Yeah, what are you doing, you sexy fuck? Ooh. Um, I'm probably going to bring back the old world's greatest football pitches. Just Ooh, to, good idea, good idea. Just an excuse to fucking go to Thailand and Maldives. Wait, no, he's not going to take us because we're not taking him to Dubai. Oh, for one video. I mean, I'll take you elsewhere. Mate, we can go to Dubai whenever. I've got a, a link. We can go again. Oh, no, so have I. Yeah, he's got a link as well. You haven't got a link. He's probably got the same link. Nah, because this is not true. Because do you remember the... Was it Mykonos, the holiday? 
Oh, oh mate, and, yeah, and well, no, that's a different mate, 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 you don't they, remember they, before they, COVID, literally all of us were going to Dubai for free. Yeah, we were going to do yeah, that with sexy girls. Why, why did that never happen? It was with your girlfriends. Can that not happen? Yeah, I'm very good. I'm actually really good friends with... Um, good. The Prince Dubai. of Dubai. <laughs> yeah. No, Dubai Tourism. Yeah, same. Yeah. Right, same. Name? Alexandra. Is it? Oh, you got a different contact. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cocks. Well, boys. What, mate? Earlier, yeah. on the Waffling Instagram, Hit me. I posted a story saying, no. send us some of your controversial opinions. They don't have to be yours. They can just be opinions. And we got quite a lot. Now, I'm just thinking quick fire. Yeah. You don't have to go into any of them, like, uh, <laughs> deeply. But there is, we got sent hundreds, like what? maybe even thousands. Go, go, go. People who eat meat can't complain about animal cruelty. I mean, yeah. No. Yeah, oh, but yeah, we've, yeah. we've complained about Kurt Zuma kicking a cat. Yeah, if you. No, eat... there's a complete difference. All right, Mate, go on. You know, like some of the meat, if you're going fucking probably like Nando's, yeah. I think them chickens are in like lovely no. five star hotels. I mate. know it's very <laughs> hypocritical, but I think there's a difference between. Mass farming for a global population and kicking a cat. Yeah, one the kicking of the cat is probably less brutal than what say some of the pigs no, and I some know, of the cows <sighs> and some of the other animals that you eat on the regular. Like we all eat, you is, know what is, I mean? Is it really hard to say? And I probably sound like a dick. Bear in mind, I've been a vegetarian for seventeen years. Like the the cat and the dog, for example, are like a domestic animal. Do you know what Mate, I mean? animals and now you're saying that oh, if you're no, domesticated, then no, you're a privileged is, or more no, but superior. I don't know how hard, I don't know how to word it, man. Like. You've got global farming for a global population to feed the world. Yeah. Okay. And that is definitely different to booting your own cat. Yeah, but this it's still cruelty. Yes, it's oh, different yeah, no. scenarios. No, it is. I but know, at the but end of the day, if you're if you're consuming that meat that is of animals that have been abused, no. then you're like you're saying uh, like that guy that was filming the the, the guy kicking the cat is bad. Well, then I'm not saying it's not bad. How to eat I animals? Has, I reckon it's but even worse. You said. <laughs> but what did? What was your question again? <laughs> well, you can change your mind. Um, it was really. people who eat meat can't complain oh, no. about that's animal cruelty. That's my point. It's not, I'm saying it is bad to like obviously slaughter a cow and eat it, but to say they can't complain. Okay, you can yeah, you can you still can, complain. You, you can still complain. But there, you you can also accept someone coming back, but saying and saying, but you yeah. eat meat. So if you're such an advocate for positive yeah. actions towards animals. Stop it! Yeah, and I'll just be like, look, man, I was a 17 year vegetarian. Cut me some slack. Yeah, back in the past. What about now, buddy? Now I do love a good steak. Burgers are well good, though, aren't and they? Like they are, the but sandwich. I mean, if they can find a way to make it like as legitimately are, tasty, then I will be more than welcoming. They, they are well on their way, and I, I do think eventually we'll get to a point yeah, where, like, that is good. The yep. the entire population will be. Well, vegan. Have you seen they've created um, right this new that. meat that like actually has like blood in it, like fake yeah. blood? Oh, that trips me out a bit. Very interesting the way it's going forward. But look, at the end of the day, if the human population has to survive, we have to come up with different ways of eating food. Let's well, shut up my drinker. Right, boys. Go on, next one. Another one. A blowy is better than sex. Shut up. Mm. They disagree. No, no. I know you were, You prefer it for some reason. I'm just really? Very dodgy, yeah. No, I don't. I literally have never said that. I think you did multiple times, actually, off camera. I, I literally do not prefer it. Mm. No. I've, I've, I've always found them like... I've, to be honest, like they're okay, but I think that there's a lot more going on in sex, so it's a bit more like engaging and yeah, entertaining. Like the connection. Yeah, like there's there's a two way street. Whereas yeah. I feel like oh, like some someone doing giving and me just doing nothing. I don't know. It's not. It doesn't create the spark and the magic for me. Do you prefer making love or having sex? I think making love is more powerful. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hashtag deep, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. What's next? Buckwheat. Right. I'm finding one. Duck B, uh, <laughs> come beak. on. He is legitimate. It is Luke. He's coming with the next one. Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, sorry. Oh, um, no, sorry. Though. Hurry up. Yeah, no, I am. Tom, just cut this. Tom, you're a dickhead, dickhead, eating dickhead frog. You love eating up sarnies. Keep it in, Tom. I'm going to entertain the people by being myself. Okay. Uh, All right, boys. Here's another one. Go on, lad. Girls become less attractive once you get with them for the first time. Uh, become more attractive. Get with what was in have sex or kiss. I guess either or. They can become more, but I think that, that that argument could be more valid if once you've had sex, because I think unless you're truly into someone, 
like for, for people, for some people, it can be like it's fulfilled, like that that lust and that, that unanswered question of like what would it be like to do this is answered. So and and, and I think that's where that could come into play. I find it mad. Like this is I don't know, sound too cringe, but like I find the misses like more attractive every day. Yeah, but that's because you're it's into just, her. It's just, it's just that's constant. And when we think it's at the top, uh, uh-uh, next day it's like higher, 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 yeah, higher. Yeah, yeah. But that's beautiful, Mad, and that is that is love, mate. And you, you feel her. the same. You're working up towards anal, aren't you? <laughs> so, yeah. Do you feel the same way about your girlfriend? Yeah, I mean, I, like, I think I'm at a point where, like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you have to, like, I think every day, like, you you see something different in the person you spend your life. With. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I, yeah, I put you in hell there. I'm sorry. No, no, I feel like, but yeah, like, I agree. I think <laughs> I think you can a hundred percent. I over, yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so mean. I don't, I don't even get it. <laughs> I just tickled it. Uh, fear's not convinced. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Obviously, I'm joking. I know what you're saying. I'm scared of him, are you, mate? <laughs> Back <laughs> yourself. Yeah, okay, go on. It's a bit hot in here, isn't it, lads? <laughs> anyway. Funny though, isn't it? So. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Molly May was crucified more than Greenwood. Yeah. <laughs> Probably true, you know. By lads. But I think there weren't many lads that were speaking up like Molly May. I mean, there were, but like I think Molly May got more of like an all-round sticking and she Macy got, Greenwood. I th- and I think it's because a lot of lads have fucking done it themselves, and that's what winds me up. I think Molly May got it worse on Twitter, but Greenwood's got it worse. He's lost every single brand, which is good. Just so Molly May didn't oh, lose. Oh, Molly yeah, May didn't lose her. Okay, DIY Molly May thing. received more flack. Obviously, it's impacted Greenwood war, but more, but yeah. obviously, yeah, exactly, like literally, obviously. Yeah. Next up, teapot. Uh, okay, one sec. Right. We're going to have to stall for him. Woogie, a boogie, a diggy doggy dog. I go to the park and I eat lots of frogs. Okay, boys, this one is actually probably quite applicable to the two of you. Oh, God. Famous people will always think they're bigger and better than the normies. The normies? Ugh, I don't like that word. No, 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 right. Okay. No. Yes and no. So in order to reach, so I'll use Ronaldo as an example. In order to reach the heights that Ronaldo's received, like he got to, he wouldn't have thought he was a normal person, and he wouldn't have thought he was like like everyone else. He thought he thought I'm fucking better than everyone else at what I do. So therefore, he is viewing himself as better. Maybe not as a human being, i.e., like as a fucking, but in, there's a part of his brain is like, I am fucking superior than everyone. And you can argue that in order to be a champion, that is part of the mindset. I get that. Oh. You know what I don't like? What? Is when, like, these, like, I don't know, whoever they are, just famous Donnies or, like, semi-famous Donnies. Donnies? Donnies. Would, they'll just, like, walk to the famous front. Donnie. They'll just walk to the front of the queue at a club. Be like, come on. It's like, mate, get to the back and just queue up. Wait, but what if you're on guest list? No, not they're not. Like, Something just like, aren't guest oh, okay, list. Okay, they okay. just Okay. They're in, so a lot of people are entitled. Wankers, yeah. Are oh, entitlements. Yeah, that's the way I made. There is an element of like the shit famous people that aren't actually famous that are just sort of, yeah. yeah you know what I mean? Yeah. We all know who I mean. Um, Mate, they are the ones that sort of act like, oh, fucking, I'm above everyone. Mate, I, I was in a queue on the way back from uh, Dubai and this couple behind me were talking really loudly, but just about money. And about like Instagram, oh yeah, I got more followers than you. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Shut up, you And like cock. they they were obviously together, but they were like they were joking around, but it was like it was loud enough that like everyone could hear. And I'm just next to them, and I can just hear them. And I'm like in my head, I'm like, who, who what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, how, how many Snapchat views do you get? Oh. I'm like, are you are you actual? And they're like, oh yeah, they just sent me nine hundred quid. Oh mate, but there are people that are literally that that is their their like, focus, and they live. They live to keep up this internet persona that isn't them, that doesn't that doesn't truly make them happy. And if they stopped, they'd they'd lose that attention and so and gratification. So they start feeling shit. So they they carry on doing things that isn't them in order to continue doing living a life that isn't them to please okay. people that they don't know. And it's weird fucking I, thing. I, I overheard who they were and like I googled them and like uh, went on one of their guys' YouTube. I was like, he's quite successful, but yeah. like. Just the way it was, they were discussing it, overly loud, and like it, it was just like, 
oh yeah, just been sent nine hundred quid. It's just like no one cares, yeah, mate. No up. one cares. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, man. I got That's the thing. Money. Like I'd say, like the majority of like our YouTube community are down to earth. Yeah, hundred percent. In terms of like, yeah, they've achieved mad things and got a lot mad money, but like they they're. N- when I say normal, they're not. Like, it's not all got to their head and they're fucking yeah. like that. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Everyone's sound. But like, I'm sure these guys in the queue, are, they're probably nice people. But it's just like there's something in there. There's something. There's an insecurity in there. The, the, yeah. The, 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 why yeah. they've got us taught like that. But it was just like, yeah, I just got five thousand views on my Instagram story, and I was like, no one cares. Mm. Like realistically, no one cares. Yeah, no. Like, no you one. don't need to be talking that loud. And I was, you could tell they were talking that loud on purpose. Yeah, something mad like that bragging. I saw, like, there was this TV program that my mum put on, right? This is another thing of social media and how, um, like, obviously what you type in and what you interact with on apps, you get recommended more. And there was a thing about, like, self-harm and suicide. The more you, like, research that or type it in or interact with anything that's, like, depressing like that, in that sense, like, it gets recommended to you more. Oh. I know. So it's like... Exactly. Matt, if you're thinking about all that shit and then it's like because it's making more money, I don't know. It's like exactly adverts and shit. It's the fucked. algorithm's fucked up. Yeah, the algorithm doesn't yeah, matter what it's about. It's just because of what you're searching that it will just show Key you points. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see like, what it means? Like, it doesn't, the algorithm doesn't know what it's showing you. Yeah, and it's like it's just those words that relate as well, to like that the thing. unrealistic uh, things. So like for girls, they'll promote their photos and and products and adverts and all that that um, are like unrealistic, actually harming your body, like aren't good for you. And for geezers, it will, like, if you type in gym, you'll start getting stuff sent to you that is of un- freakishly unnatural, clear steroid users. And, like, if that's all you're seeing and that's fitness to you and that's, oh, my God, that's what I need to be like. There are so many people that are, like, our age that have fucked themselves with performing enhancing drugs and all this shit that they don't fucking need. And it's, like, I wonder how much social media and the exposures to that and how much it's getting pushed to them is the thing, the blame. Mental. We'll leave that with... You guys, we hope you've enjoyed this really enlightening show. It has been waffling. It's been quite an enjoyable one, hasn't it? We know it has. <laughs> Anyways. We were, we were primed. We are. Oh, great. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. From the Waffling Boys, hasta luego, compañeros.